All right guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to terminate a XLR, a male or a female. It works the same way for both, um, just depends on the application for the wirings for which one you choose. An XLR is a balanced connector, it's a balanced audio connector. Um, you're gonna need a couple things. First, you're gonna need a soldering iron, you're going to need some solder, and then you're going to need some snips, you're going to need some vice grips, and then you're going to need a connector. The connectors all come in a bag like this. You have, this is a male. What you're going to need out of the connector is, or out of the bag, it comes in four parts. You have a bushing. This is a insert, a housing, chuck, there you go. Bushing, chuck, insert, housing. Honestly, I didn't know that until about 10 minutes ago. So it's just, I've done it for so long, it's like second nature at this point. The first thing you do if you're gonna be soldering anything is you need a hot soldering iron and that takes time. So to be efficient with our time, I'm gonna plug in the soldering iron, boom. And then now we just gotta make sure that our soldering iron is somewhere that won't burn a hole in whatever it's on top of. Uh, I'd hate to replace somebody's carpet or you know conference table because you put a big burn mark on it. The next thing we're gonna need to do in this process is we need to prepare a, our cable. Now, this is a raw piece of cable. I have both ends in my hands, but when I'm terminating something like this in the field in a rack, uh, I'm not always gonna have access to both ends. So don't forget to put this part onto the cable first. So there, so just imagine you don't have access to the other side of the cable. You, you are going to need this on the cable before you solder. So we can prep this side of the cable now that we have our bushing on cut back maybe like an inch and a half or so. You score the wire and then you break it off just like so. Let's see. And then I'm going to cut out this fabric. Don't need that. We're gonna pull our shield to the side and I'm gonna cut off this jacket, this internal jacket here, like so. Just pull it all off. All right, I don't need the white and the green so I'm gonna peel all this back and trim that off. And I'm gonna add that to my trash pile, just to stay clean. It's important to stay clean on a job site. Don't want wire clippings everywhere. All right, so we're gonna trim these back about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch, something like that. Add to our trash pile, something like that. Add to our trash pile, no big deal. All right, and then you have this side is prepped. We're gonna leave that alone just like that. Now you also have the insert, and this is where this is where all the soldering is gonna take place is in the insert. Um, on an XLR, you have, I don't know if it comes through on here, but if you look at a connector, it always has one, two, three. So it is one, two, and three, which is our ground, our positive, and our negative. Regardless of the sex of the XLR connector, one, two, three is ground, positive, negative. At Taurus, we like to standardize it where we use the shield, the red, and the black on our connectors. So this just, the vice grips, it works like another set of hands for you. So you can't burn yourself too easily. And effectively what you do is you just grab onto that. You don't want it as tight as it'll go. We're not trying to really squeeze it. We're just trying to hold it, right? I just want something that'll I just want something that'll hold it like that so I can use my soldering iron on this. So let's see, I'm gonna pull off some solder. I'm gonna place this back. Now, our soldering iron should be hot by now, but we can test that by taking our solder and just tapping our hotspot. You can see a little smoke, see a little solder, you know you're good to go. So now we have to prep the insert, and by doing so, we're gonna take solder we're gonna place it on the cup and we're just gonna feed in solder. It's gonna melt. And when you see it, when you see it start to pool up and fill up in the cup, you're good. You just wanna make sure that cup has plenty in there. There you go, boom, boom, boom. Easy enough, just like that. Feed it right on in. All right, so now what we need to do, we're gonna place our soldering iron down. We're gonna make sure that it's not burning up our nice table and we need to tin our wires. So what we do is, is I just use, I just use my solder because it's heavy and I don't know, I don't like carrying around a big soldering kit in my travel kit. So we're gonna tin the ends of these wires. It makes it easier to slide into the insert. So effectively, you're gonna go like this. 
paint a little bit of that solder on. You want just enough that it's not globbed up on the end, really just, you just wanna cover it and make sure that the conductor is fully covered in solder. Like that. And we're gonna do the same thing with the ground. There you go. We'll do that on the vice grips. I just, again, don't wanna put it on anybody's nice table. So I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna put the vice grips with our insert up here, and I'm gonna make sure that I am terminating shield red, black, one, two, three, or ground, positive, negative. So I'm trying to make sure my head's not in the way. Uh, let's see, this is gonna go into our ground, heat it up, slide it in, let go, make sure that it, make sure that it cools off and solidifies. Let's see, heat it up, slide it in, cools off, solidifies, and then the last one. You can see that the wire like slides in. You just wanna be able to make sure that it's setting inside that cup. You don't want it just smashed to the outside of the cup. That's no bueno. All right, so now our insert is terminated. We can put our vice grips to the side. We can unplug our soldering iron because the soldering is effectively done. Again, just be aware where that hot tip is at. We don't wanna burn somebody's stuff. Boom, just like that. All right, we can get all that out of the way. So now, now that we have our inserts properly soldered, here, this is a, this is an okay amount of separation from the conductor in the cup. You really wanna minimize this space as much as possible. Like ideally the conductor, the jacket of the conductor is right up to the cup, but you know, it's, it's how it's not always perfect. So this is going, this strain relief is going to go around like this. So it effectively looks like this now. You'll also notice that the jacket, when this squeezes, on the wiring, the jacket is gonna be held. Let's see, we're gonna take that and we're going to place it into the housing and push forward. And if you look in here, you'll see that there's no space between the insert and the housing. Now you're just gonna take the bushing, slide the bushing all the way up, and you're just gonna rotate it. It's gonna make a little clicking sound, to twist until it's uh, difficult, and that's how you make an XLR. Man, that's so good. I'd put that in the back of my truck.